Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin Christian. I'm the Director of Public Relations for Marion County Public Schools. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 22nd Annual Marion County Spelling Bee. We are certainly excited to have you here tonight in our audience and our spellers on the stage to celebrate them as they compete and we crown a Marion County Spelling Bee champion. I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous, parents? Don't be nervous. They're the ones that know this material, they've studied, they've worked hard, and we can't wait. Each year, students from all of our middle schools have the opportunity to participate in this spelling bee, one of the nation's oldest and most iconic competitions. They diligently study their word lists in preparation and have won classroom, grade level, and school-wide spelling bees to advance to tonight's competition. And now to welcome our spellers and guests, I would like to introduce Dr. Danielle Livengood, the Senior Director of Secondary Curriculum and High Schools for Marion County Public Schools, my friend and speller number six, your word is altimeter. Can you use in a sentence? The airplane's altimeter proved most useful in bad weather landings. Altimeter, A-L-T-I-M-E. T E R altimeter. Correct. Heard this round is boba. Uh, uh, can you repeat the word? Boba. Can you use the word in a sentence? Leisha and her friends usually drink boba when they meet after school to do homework together. Uh, boba. B O B A. Boba. You're correct. All right, speller 15. Your word is a homonym, so I'll give you some additional clues, okay? Your word is minimus. It's a noun meaning the little finger or toe, the fifth digit. M I N I M U S. Correct. Your word is Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. G-I-L-G-A-M-E-S-H. Gilgamesh. Correct. <laughs> Speller number 10. Your word is peplus. P E. P L U S. That is correct. All right, we'll move on to round number eight. Speller six. Your word has a homonym, so you'll get some additional pieces of information. Okay? Your word is Ramadan. It is a noun meaning the ninth month of the Islamic year observed as a sacred month on each day of which strict fasting is practiced from dawn to sunset. Ramadan, R-A-M-A-D-H-A-N, Ramadan. That is correct. <coughs> Speller 15, your word again has two or more correct spellings. You only need to give us one, okay? Your word is Palomino. P-A-L-O-M-I-N-O. -O. That's correct. <laughs> Spell our six. I'm sorry. All right, your word is coccidiosis. Can you use it in a sentence? I will try. <laughs> Toxoplasmosis is one example of coccidiosis in humans, and it is generally contracted from contact with infected cats or dogs. 
Can I get the definition? Infestation with or disease caused by a large order of typically parasitic protozoans. Coccidiosis, C O C C I D I O S I S, coccidiosis. That is correct. Anybody else holding their breath? All right, speller 15, your word is Pleiades. P-L-E-I-A-D-E-S. You are correct. You can be seated. Let me confer with the judges. That is not correct, but both of you have won. So congratulations. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you stay right there for a second. Congratulations to each of you. Speller six, but will both of you come up to the microphone. Tell us your name again and the school you're from. Uh, Callie Godwin, Bellevue Middle. <laughs> Kathy Lee, Liberty Middle School. Congratulations to both of you. I want to invite up uh, Dr. Livingood because I think we now have some prizes and congratulations to hand out. So, uh, Dr. Livingood, you're up now. Trepanation. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do you want to say anything? Oh. Congratulations, that was so exciting. I have to tell you, um, we were all staring at the screen the whole time watching every letter. So um, you all are fantastic spellers, so congratulations. Go on over. We're gonna take some pictures. Uh, I wanna welcome back also the Women's Club of Ocala to present our winners with their medals and other prizes they may or may not have. I know there's cookies somewhere, but. If you'll go out there, yes, let's go out there. T R E P I N A T I O N. That is not correct, but both of you have won. So, congratulations. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, you stay right there for a second. Congratulations to each of you. Speller six, but will both of you come up to the microphone? Tell us your name again and the school you're from. Uh, Callie Godwin, Bellevue Middle. <laughs> Kathy Lee, Liberty Middle School. Congratulations to both of you. I want to invite up uh, Dr. Livingood because I think we now have some prizes and congratulations to hand out. So, uh, Dr. Livingood, you're up now. Right. Trepanation. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You want to say anything? Oh, congratulations. That was so exciting. I have to tell you, um, we were all staring at the screen the whole time watching every letter. So, um, you all are fantastic spellers. So, congratulations. Go on over. We're going to take some pictures. Uh, I want to welcome back also the Women's Club of Ocala to present our winners with their medals and other prizes they may or may not have. I know there's cookies somewhere, but if you'll go out there. Yes, let's go out there. Let me help her on the screen. Are they down here? I'm happy to help you out. Just 
Huh? Are they made out already? No. No. We can we can write them later. Okay. Number six and number fourteen. Okay. If you all want to go on out, we'll take some photos. <coughs> can we give our contestants one more round of applause? Our winners. Did anybody know what trepanation was? Mr. Mack, don't raise your hand, because I know you did. I had never heard that word before. There's a lot of words I hadn't heard, but trepanation. We need to use that. Impress somebody tomorrow. Trepanation. I love that exhibit on trepanation. And they'll just look at you like, what? So, one more time. Great job. I mentioned earlier, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can see this spelling bee on our YouTube channel at Marion County K-12 starting April 1st. We delay it to protect the integrity of the word list and the competition itself. Finally, one more thank you to the GFWC Women's Club of Ocala, the Little Women Juniorettes of Ocala, Dr. Livingood, who is here behind me, Mr. Ingram, who's here as well, all the school administrators, many I see in the audience with us tonight, parents, teachers, families. Friends.